yo what is up guys we are back for more dokkan content um and i, I just you know want to make this special video i definitely promise y'all <laughs> um this is going to be a video of the best releases ever in dokkan history now obviously i'm not going to go through every single best release in dokkan history so there will be a part two to this video because you know your boy need money um <laughs> but um this is kind of like the opposite of my most disastrous release video um that that video did really well and i never really made a follow-up or like a kind of like a tie-in to that video so i thought eh, might as well right might as well it did really well um so yeah i i don't want to uh, make this like too long all right i don't make it too long so let's just start off gamma one and gamma two I, I, what, what more you guys want me to, I, like, I, do I really need to talk about them? The, I don't think I've ever seen two units synergize so well with each other in my life. They made each other just amazing. Now, obviously, they've aged a tad bit, yes. Especially Gamma 2. Gamma 1 still somewhat usable. Gamma 2, eh, gotta get lucky. But, bro, on release, they came out October 28th, 2022. Side note, remember that time in on Global, it, they came out a week later for, like, no reason? Good God, I can't wait for this sync to happen so all that BS will stop. Um, But, yeah, Gamma 1 was, like, super defensive, right? Guard, and then the damage reduction, and then he had um the 70% chance to nullify. And then Gamma 2 was, like, hyper offensive. Um, He had crit. He had a bunch of additionals. High chance to nullify key blast supers. And then they each gave so Gamma 2 gave two key 30% attack. Gamma 1 gave one key 30% defense and to all allies. So anybody that was on the rotation, they would get three key and 30% attack and defense. It was so cool how they did that. The leader skills were like incredible. Movie hero is um amazing category. Um and Gamma 2's, again, Movie Hero's an amazing category. Android's is a lot more solid now, too. Uh, yeah, like, these got the animation. Like, let's, let's look at this, bro. Let's, let's, let's view. Gamma, Gamma 2, man. Goatma 2. Goatma 2. R.I.P. Goatma 2, man. Look at this. This is fire. He's fighting John Cena, as you can see. Um, yeah, bro, just fire. Fire, fire, fire. Um... This might be, like, the best combo, like, dual Dokkan fest I've seen in my life. I guess I can't call them a dual Dokkan. Well, I mean, I guess I can't because they were on the same banner. So, but, yeah, these these two, incredible. Incredible what they did with these two. All right. Next, we have, and I know, this is a curveball. So, if you've been a sub to the channel or you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know I am not... I will repeat, I am not the biggest fan of heroes. Ugh, I'm swig swigging them electrolytes. Um, I think heroes is overrated. I think heroes is honestly a lot of the time trash, right? I, I, I just think heroes is just not very good. They changed my thought process on that last year. So... I I always kind of thought that, but then when 2022 came around and there was the Limit Breaker, Super Saiyan 4s, and Hearts, that's when I was like, yo, nah, Heroes is dirt. I will never summon on Heroes if they keep making them like this. It's trash. I don't care if they're new name character. They suck, bro. They, Omatsu definitely was in the kitchen chefing up this, um, this past year. He was. Limit Breaker, Super Saiyan 4, Vegito. I mean, is he still the best T.U.R. in the game? <laughs> he might be. He might still be the best. Uh, is Harutagarn better? I actually don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Yeah, I really don't know the answer to that. I right, Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Vegito is stupid. He's stupid, man. He's, he's, he's dumb. He really is. Uh, the intro, and then he gets a crit and damage reduction for six turns, but 30%. Then he'll get extra 30% here. If all allies are giant in power, a crossover. So, like, yeah, 60% damage reduction for the first six turns. Fire. Very high defensive stats. He hits stupidly hard. 
right? Um, and then he has his very easy active skill. All allies attacking in the same turn or crossover category character starting from the third turn or starting from the sixth turn. Very easy active. Um, my only, I guess my only complaint is that he doesn't raise defense on his super attack. That's my only complaint with this. Well, only performance complaint with this guy. I guess the other complaint I would have, this isn't a JP problem. This is a global problem, but him not having a voice is kind of annoying. Like, I get it. Dragon Ball Heroes is a Japanese thing, so, like, the global side of things wouldn't get a voice, but... You could have just put the regular Vegito voice in there. Because it's not like he says anything that... Uh, well, we, we, we could look at it right now, right? It's not like he says anything that's, like, exclusive to this form. Am I wrong? Um, Well, does he say anything for the intro? Yeah, all he said, playtime is over. Like, y'all could have just... Bro, come on. <laughs> come on, come on. But performance... Um, flaws, I, I guess I would say this, but it doesn't even hurt him. It doesn't really hurt him that much. It's just he would be stupidly OP if he had this, but it doesn't even really hurt him that much. His leader skill is, is very good because Fuse Fighters is really strong. Um, yeah. I, this, let me break our Super Saiyan 4 uh, Xeno Vegito, man. They, they, Omatsu did his thing. He did his thing with him. He definitely did. All right, next we have... LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Um, I'm not going to talk about their... Well, I'll mention their easy A's, but I'm mainly talking about um, when they first released. Uh, fourth year anniversary. I don't think a soul on planet Earth was complaining about these guys. Nobody was complaining about the fourth year anniversary. That's why it's like, all right, the ninth anniversary looks like it's the best celebration in the game ever. But I just have serious nostalgia for the fourth year Annie, bro. Fourth year anniversary just hit so deep, bro. It did. It really did. You had Super Saiyan 4 Goku leading the Goku family category. I mean, we could take a look. An outstanding category. Outstanding. Even when all these characters weren't here, they were out. It was outstanding still. I, I just impeccable. Incredible. He himself was incredible. Doing damage all over the place. And he was the first person to um him and Vegeta. Okay, so it was weird. Him and Vegeta were the first one to have the active skills in game, but B Pan was the f was the first to have it in the data. But in game, like Goku and Vegeta were first. Like seeing this was so hype, bro. I like I know it's trash in comparison, but it just takes me back to a real fun time. It takes me back to a real fun time, man. Goku got the defense. Uh, nullification he hit really hard for the time and vegeta vegeta's only problem was he raised attack on 12 key and then um he massively raised attack and defense on his 18 key meanwhile goku raises attack on tw uh defense on 12 key so like goku definitely had the edge there like he had a clear edge but it's not like vegeta was a wimp either vegeta was number two 100 percent, 100 percent. vegeta was number two but goku was number one but yeah, man, I, amazing time, amazing time in Dokkan. If you weren't there, bro, I feel sorry. I feel sorry for y'all, bro. It was amazing. It was definitely amazing. Wonderful time to be there. Wonderful time to be alive. Shout out Drake in future. Um, and then, what well, we have, <laughs> we have the very next anniversary LRs. You know what I should do? I should rank every anniversary LR, um, every headline anniversary LR on um, on a tier list. I should do that. Um, I don't need to tell y'all guys when these guys were um revealed when they when they were dropped in game. Um, like 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 there is a reason the fifth anniversary is considered to be so hype. There's a reason why the fifth anniversary sold that well. Right, like, it's still the highest selling, like, anniversary, is it? I believe so. Um, and you know what's funny about the fifth anniversary? The fifth anniversary in high sight was so mid. Like, it wasn't that good at all. But no one cared because these guys were the, well, okay, hot take, hot take. 
I don't think they were better than Kale and Khalifa, personally. I think they were number two. Like, I had Vegito 2A, Gogeta 2B, right? I didn't have them, like, separate. Um, But I didn't think they were better than Kale and Khalifa. But they were top three in the game. Incredible animations. Um, Especially, wait, let's go to this. Let's, uh, like, you had this. Um, final comment on my half from Vegito. At at this point, this was probably like the second best animation in the game, probably, right? Um, Gohan's was really good. The AGLR Gohan's was really good as well. But um he also uh what you call it? Um you never saw his, right? Like you never really saw his. And then you had the KO screen. The KO screens are fire. But then like you had Gogeta. Gogeta's active? Nah. This was the wallpaper. This little uh, video right here was the wallpaper on when I back when I had the Android that I played JP on. Back when I was my main phone, this was my um wallpaper. Like that was so amazing, man. It was so amazing. And then the KO screen with Gogeta flicking the power off the wrist, bro. Look at the flick of his wrist, man. Look at it. This was a this was a really amazing time in Dokkan. Again, looking at, at it in hindsight, the fifth anniversary really was trash. But like compared to every other anniversary, it was trash. I know people like to really hate on the sixth anniversary for some reason. I don't know why. Like fifth anniversary was much worse, but eh, whatever. Uh, but yeah, these guys, I bro. I don't think they can ever. I don't think they can ever release another character that's as hype. LRB's Gohan is probably the only thing that got that got close to the hype. He probably like LRB's Gohan can match this hype. He can because he's brand new. But at the end of the day, once the LRB's Gohan uh, excitement dies down, um, once he's you know starts getting older, it'll be right back to the Blue Fusions, bro. It'll be right back to them. The Blue Fusions just reign supreme. Fusions reign supreme over Dragon Ball, bro. I, I'm sorry. I know y'all hate hearing it, but it is what it is, man. They will always sell. All ways sell they always will and last but not least power awakening piccolo i don't want to hear anything um this guy finally finally got overtaken during the ninth anniversary and i mean i suppose you could argue he was better than a part one lr you can argue that i thought broly was better but it's not like i wouldn't hear arguments that piccolo wasn't better i like i will definitely listen to them i'll even entertain them i will uh, but LRB's going on, like, is better. I think the Gammas are better. So, like, I, this guy, he had, like, a, when did he come out? December 27, 2022. He came out alongside the LR Ultimate Gohan, the, you know, the beastless Gohan. That mess. That was a dark time. <laughs> Woo, that was a dark time. It's funny because all that content was so amazing, but it was just that ruined everything, right? But, yeah. From December 27, 2022. Until 2024, this guy was the best unit in the game, bro. He was the best unit in the game. I love Boma. I love Boma to death. I was putting him over Boma. I was. And, bro, I love Boma, future Gohan, the GZ duo to death. But th this guy was so stupid. And, like, he was amazing in base, but it was really, right? It was really this right here. It was that. This man could stay in this form for three turns and super three times each slot he could super 27 times yes for speed runs he's awful because he slows the fight down to a crawl but he sure as heck will get you that dub yeah man i like i don't know if anybody will ever have the run this guy has. i mean lrb's going might lrb's going might like lrb's gone i think it's just far and away the best unit in the game bro like, it's such a gap. They would have to actually break power creep again to even match him. Um, But, yeah, Orange Piccolo, he got a, he has to go in the Hall of Fame, man. He has to go in the Hall of Fame. December 27, 2022, all the way to I, late January, early February 2024, bro, as number one unit in the game. That's, that is, that's a LeBron. That's a 2018 playoffs LeBron run right there, bro. That's. He's different, bro. He's different. And he's still arguably top five. Still to this day. But let me know what you guys think 
of all the units I had here. Um, it, let me know down in the comment section below what other units you would like to see, because there's definitely going to be more parts to this. I didn't even scratch the surface. Like and subscribe for more Dark on Battle content such as this. I'm going to catch you on the next one. I love y'all, and I'm out. Peace.